McCafe key training. So we're gonna go ahead more in detail on the McCafe key. Let's go ahead and hit that. You'll see it's highlighted in yellow and the menu changes. There are quite a few options under this key. Any drink that comes from this menu is from our McCafe machine, our Frappe machine, or our shake machine, and then of course our iced coffee. So let's dive in here. Iced coffee is one of our number one sellers. So if we go ahead and hit iced coffee without a size, it automatically rings up a medium, okay? You always want to verify with the guests what size drink they would like so that you can ring it up properly. So if the guest ordered a large iced coffee, you would of course have to hit large and then iced coffee. See if you look over here, you will see the two different sizes, one medium iced coffee, one large iced coffee, okay? Okay, let's take that large one off. And after you hit your iced coffee, your only other option is to go ahead and pick what flavor. So you simply would pick what flavor the guest tells you and now the drink is rang up properly. For the other drinks, lattes, mochas, hot chocolates, cappuccinos, macchiatos, they will all ring up automatically as a small if you do not hit what size the guest would like. These are the drinks that come from the McCafe machine. They are all espresso based drinks. The Americano and the Shot of Espresso are espresso based drinks as well. However, Shot of Espresso, if you look at it right here, is just one size, okay? The Americano is different sizes as well, okay? So let's go ahead and ring up a latte so we can see the different options you have when ringing up lattes. First, you have to know that we have iced lattes and hot lattes. We also have whole milk and non-fat milk, as well as plenty of different flavors, okay? So let's go ahead. Again, I said if you do not hit a size, it's automatically gonna ring up a small. So let's take a look at that. I hit latte, and if you look over here, it automatically rings up one small latte. Now your options are whole or non-fat milk, hot or cold, and then of course the flavor. You have plain, hazelnut, caramel, sugar-free vanilla, and French vanilla. Currently we are not serving white chocolate or pumpkin spice. Certain flavors will vary when we have them in stock, so you will just need to check with your restaurant to make sure what flavors you have to offer to the guests. Okay, so let's take a look. So the guest orders a small hot latte French vanilla. So the first question you have to ask the guest is, is that whole or non-fat milk? If they say whole milk, you go ahead and hit that. They said a hot latte, you'll hit hot. And then of course you will pick the flavor. Now, if you look over, you'll see one small vanilla latte. Now, if the guest ordered a small iced vanilla latte, let's see what that looks like. So you're gonna hit latte. Again, would the guests like whole or non-fat milk? Let's hit non-fat for this one. They would like iced, so that's a cold latte. And again, they want French vanilla. So you hit the French vanilla and you'll see it says one small iced vanilla non-fat latte. Okay, let's go ahead into the mochas. You hit the mocha key, same thing. It automatically pops up in small and you have the same three questions. Milk type, poor non-fat milk. So you go ahead and pick which one they asked for, hot or cold, we'll do a hot. And then your flavor options for mochas are plain, caramel, white chocolate. We currently do not have white chocolate. Plain flavor is just the regular chocolate and caramel is the caramel mocha flavor, okay? So if we go ahead and hit plain, that's just simply one small mocha. That is a hot one. Let's hit a medium mocha and we're gonna do a medium iced mocha with non-fat milk, the guest asked for. So you go ahead and hit the non-fat milk, the cold temperature type, and then plain for the iced mocha. And if you look over here, it simply says one medium iced non-fat mocha if the guest would like something not in their drink, 
you can grill this back like we saw in a previous video. Grilling back drink orders is the same as grilling back sandwiches, okay? Again, when you're underneath the grill menu, the ingredients that are in the drink come up first, okay? So if they wanted it with no whipped cream, no, of course, it's already highlighted, then you would hit the whipped cream, and then it comes up medium, ice, non-fat mocha, no whipped cream. If they also want no drizzle, you could just hit the drizzle, and it says no medium, ice, non-fat mocha, no whipped cream, no drizzle, okay? So if they would like light whipped cream, you could change that. So you simply would hit clear grill, takes all your grill changes off, and then you can go ahead and hit light, whipped cream, okay? Now let's go into our two different types of frappes we have. These are sold as much as the iced coffees are. They are our top sellers. We have two different flavors, caramel and mocha. Okay, so if you hit frappe, it automatically brings up a small, okay? And you then just pick your option. You have mocha or caramel. Currently, we do not have harada or strawberry, okay? So then we would just pick the flavor and you're done. If they would like the frappe without whipped cream or drizzle, then again, you're underneath the grill menu, you would just hit no of whatever they do want on the drink, okay? If they want light something, same thing, clear grill, light whipped cream, you're done. Light whipped cream, but no chocolate drizzle. The options of what you can put on or take off are just the ingredients that are in the frappe, okay? So let's go ahead and hit a medium caramel frappe so you can see how it works when you're picking the size. So you go ahead and hit medium, frappe, then we go ahead and hit caramel, okay? And if you look, it's very simple how it comes up. One medium caramel frappe, okay? So let's go ahead into our uh, macchiatos. When you hit macchiato, you have the option of whole or non-fat milk, hot or cold, and then the flavor is only one, which is caramel, because our macchiatos are called caramel macchiatos. So uh, you don't have many options of flavor types, just what it is, the caramel. So again, you would pick whole or non-fat milk, hot or cold, okay? So the guest orders a hot caramel macchiato with whole milk, you would hit whole milk, hot, and then go ahead and hit your caramel flavor, and you see how it rings up. One medium caramel macchiato. Let's go head down to see how simple it is to ring up slushies. Guest orders blue raspberry slushy, a large. You're gonna go ahead and hit the large button, blue raspberry, and the drink simply rings up. A large strawberry banana smoothie. You're just gonna simply hit large, strawberry banana smoothie, and of course the drink rings up, okay? Shot of espresso, very simple. You no size, you just hit shot of espresso and it comes up one shot espresso. Okay, Americano, if we hit that item, it's gonna automatically give you a medium for that. And that drink is just espresso and hot water mix. Okay, milkshakes that come from the shake machine, they come in the three different sizes that we have, small, medium, and large. So if you do not pick a size, you just hit chocolate shake, it's gonna automatically give you a medium chocolate shake. So if the guests would like a small, you have to hit small and then chocolate shake, okay? That concludes our training for McCafe Mix.